hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to count the number of pages inside the pdf document which is uploaded by a user inside php so basically this will be a php 7 script so you can see that there is a choose file button out there with the help of which you can upload any sort of pdf document and if i upload this pdf document here and click on submit then exactly it will tell me the number of pages inside this PDF document is 260. We can also verify this. You can see that uh, in the uploads directory, this document is uploaded here, 7.69 megabytes the size of it. If I open this in Google Chrome, you will exactly see 260 pages are there. You can see that it contains images, text, all those things and it is able to count the number of pages which are there. So it's a very simple PHP script which allows you to count the number of pages inside your PDF document. The user have the option to upload the file and it will exactly tell you, you can see here it is one, one. So all these files will be uploaded inside the uploads folder. You will see that once they are uploaded, then it will calculate the number of pages. So we will be, I will be showing you how to do this. So this PHP script I have given in the description of this video. So I have written a complete blog post on my website coding section. So you can get the full PHP script for totally free by going to the description of this video. Just copy paste all the script. Now let me write the uh, script here step by step. So just make an index.php file inside your Visual Studio Code text editor. And also you will need exam control panel, which is a Apache server for running PHP applications. So just start this Apache server here. And here guys, now we will write our simple HTML here, first of all. So inside this, we will have a simple form. So the method will be post and encoding type is also multi-part form data so close the form and here we will be having a simple input field of type file and we will be giving a name attribute to a file as well so if you now refresh your application and you will now see there will be input file out there and i need to make sure that if I select this button, I also only need to upload the PDF file. So I will give it a special attribute of accept. So this will only accept PDF files, accept PDF. So this will make sure that if I select it, only PDF files will come in. Let me now, we need to refresh it. So now you can see only PDF files are coming here. You can see that. We also need to make it as required so that user needs to fill out this entry. After this, we will have a button which will be of submit and uh, value will be count pages like this. So now if you refresh it, you will now see a button here, count pages. So if you now select here please select a file so this is coming because of this required attribute that we have given so now the html is complete guys now we need to simply write the php script for handling this so first of all you need to create a uploads directory here where all the pdf files will be stored once they are uploaded by the user so we need to write this php script at the top you can also make a separate file but we will be doing it in the same process so here, first of all, what we need to do, you also need to provide the action. So the action will go to the same file. So this will be empty like this. So after this guys, here we will have a if condition, if is set dollar files image, sorry, the name attribute that you have given. So in this case, the name attribute is file. So if this is set, then in that case, we will get the file name by using dollar files file and underscore name. Also, we need to get the temporary location. So file underscore temporary location. So this is located inside this uh, temp underscore name like this. 
after this we now need to simply move the file to the uploads folder we need to up, uh, upload it so there is a method out there move uploaded file so basically we will upload this file temporary location to the actual location which is upload slash followed by the file name so this will actually move the file guys inside that location so now to calculate the size we will get we will use the file get contents methods and here we will provide the location which is there like this after it you can just echo out uh, after this step we need to get the number of pages here we will use preg match all and inside this you need to provide this regular expression which is this one uh, this is a regular expression guys for counting the number of pages inside PDF document so just write step by step like this and comma the PDF file which is there and then the dummy put a comma you just need to write like this after this you can just write here in echo statement in h1 tag the number of pages inside PDF document is and then you can concatenate it with the, the number so close the h1 tag and also break tag so this completes the application guys now if I test this application if I upload the file here click count pages so basically it will tell me undefined variable name file name uh, what is the error here coming here uh, let me see Let me refresh it guys. Again it is saying undefined variable name on line 9. Oh sorry this there needs to be underscore so sorry that's my problem. So now if you refresh it hopefully this will now do it. So number of pages you can see inside PDF document is 260 so you can see the file is uploaded in the uploads directory and then it has calculated the number of pages and sent the response from the php server to the browser which is 260 you can also select a different file here it is zero here it is one so you can see that so in this case guys you can build out the simple application inside PHP which accounts the number of pages inside PDF document inside browser. So please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.